so um, I was trying to paint a new part or put on a new part of an old painting and so far it came out okay not really what I wanted and then I kind of realized kind of hit me I'm like forcing myself I'm trying to I'm trying to paint and make images when I really don't feel like it uh, I don't know how to explain that but um, it's like for me I have to feel it I have to want to do it and most of the time I do I mean I love doing this I love painting um, I love being an artist but there's some you know days maybe even weeks where you kind of burn out on it you burn out on ideas you're burnt out on finding inspiration um, and I guess that's kind of what happened because I tried a new technique but I didn't have uh, an idea behind the technique I just like oh let's try a new technique and it didn't come out well as a result um, you know but I'm gonna try to make it work but I'm not going to try to make it work today. I'm uh, going to put that back, put that old painting back, and think about what more to do with it later. So, I guess the reason will, I guess the point is that, especially if you're an intuitive artist or you feel that you're an intuitive artist, from my experience, if you are that kind of artist, um, don't force yourself. Really don't. Don't feel you have to make a painting, or you have to paint something. You know, I mean, I, I mean, I'm still in school. I'm still an art student, so I'm still. I still have guidelines. I still have due dates. So I mean, I have to push myself to a certain extent. But my teachers give me a lot of time for each project, and I think that's one reason why. It's because I don't think they want us to force something out. At least that's that's my opinion. Because because I think that's what happened to me today just now so um, tomorrow I start school again I had spring break that's off that's over now so I'm gonna start a new piece tomorrow I'll be in my classroom environment that kind of pushes me and motivates me when I have other really good artists around me so it'll be a good day it'll be a good day tomorrow to start again start fresh I should say um, so yeah uh, what else um, I got a camera a video camera that's the good news so I'm gonna start filming process videos hopefully very soon and um, and other things kinda just about what's going on in my life and the journey of this might sound arrogant or cheesy, but a journey of a you know a young artist in Southern California, how he's kind of trying to at least move up the art world, the ladder of it, I guess. So yeah, uh, the bad news is is that I have a Mac, which is which is weird. That's usually not bad news, but. My camera doesn't really work well with a Mac, so my videos with my camera will be, I don't think, as good as videos I'm making with my little iChat Mac thing I'm using right now. So that's what's going on with that. So very soon we'll have videos uh, for process videos. I already have an interview video that I did for a, a local art group company program thing promotion company it's a self interview they wanted me to do I did that um, I posted that on YouTube they're gonna take it and edit it and put stuff to it I just want to put post the uh, raw footage that I uh, put out there so stay tuned for that it will be on the YouTube page um, hmm. so Tuesday Tuesday's the big student exhibition show. I got two paintings in, which was super awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. 
I'll, I'll have video from that for sure to share with everyone that's watching. So, yeah, that's a couple days from now. So that's what's going on, too. Let's see. Is there anything else? Um, hmm. Oh, really quickly, back to my original thing. Um, I also forgot to mention that I think one reason why today was a small failure because um, uh, my impatience took over again. That was definitely part of the failure experiment or, fa you know, the experiment of failure. That was part of it. Um, I didn't wait for the gesso to dry, so the eggshell started coming off, and then I put it back on. And it kind of looks cool in a weird way. I think I'll make it work, because painting is problem solving. That's part of it to me. So, but that being said, I should have waited. So, I need to learn my lesson, and wait for things to dry, take a step back. It's not that I'm just rushing to show things really quickly. It's just that I want to get the ideas out there as quick as possible. And sometimes that bites me. And today it did. So I guess this video was to show to me and to everyone else that it's not all smooth sailing when I paint. I think I've talked to some people and they assume that it is. I just... Every time I go into the studio or I'm in the classroom, I'm producing high-quality work, and that's not always the case. It's definitely not always the case. Um, there's paintings that I go back to. There's paintings where I'm like, huh, that could have came out better. I'm honest. I'm honest with myself. I'm honest with people. So, um, But usually at the end of the day, if I feel a painting's finished, I'm usually fairly happy with it. But then it's a weird paradox, too, because a lot of paintings I've deemed finished, um, I've come back to. So obviously I wasn't completely happy with the result. And like today, I worked on something that was a quote-unquote finished painting that I put more stuff on to the, the canvas. So that's what ended up happening. Um, trying to think if there's anything else because I haven't made these videos in a while. Um, I'm learning a lot of stuff from all the artists on Gary Reese Neen's site, Maria Wiley, uh, Deborah from her website too, her Neen's site, Debco. Um, there's others I'm probably leaving out. Let me think. Uh, Mo Goodbeer, I think is one. Yeah, just a lot of these local, well, not local artists, but just uh, up-and-coming emerging artists coming together on uh, Gary Reef's Neen site. Check that out if you can. Just Google Gary Reef or YouTube Gary Reef, and it'll lead you there somehow. And it's just been amazing kind of seeing all the artwork of all these great artists and sharing my work and learning from them. And it's been actually flattering and exciting that people are learning from me too um, and inspired by that so that's what's going on with that mm, I got about a minute left before I hit that 10 minute mark YouTube mark I've been talking too much but I have a lot on my mind after my failure um, my happy failure I'm happy about it in a certain way um, but last thing is that um, I have another exhibition coming up pretty soon outside school, which will be my first, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, there's only going to be four artists I was invited, uh, chosen, I guess, out of three other artists. I don't know when that is. I was told mm, June-ish. Um, and then I have two more student exhibitions after this that I'm actually required to do. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for all that. Um, and thanks for, thanks for watching, guys. It means a lot. So, bye.